Y'all remember earlier this year when Jack Boy debuted his new body on Instagram? And then Bam and Kevo almost immediately accused him of juicing up and not obtaining his body naturally. I'm saying he got ass shots. But <laughs> basically, what he what he's doing, the nigga on the juice. You ever heard of the juice? Mm -hmm. We ain't talking about Smoothie Kings. We talking about the nigga off the juice. So long yeah. story short, I don't know who putting that shot in his ass by his booty hole, bro. But he's basically off the test. A lot of us thought that Bam Man Kevo was just talking and hating on Jack Boy. But it turns out he may have been onto something. Because shortly after, Jack Boy was arrested for burglary, criminal stalking, and other related charges that relates to an incident with his artist Lex. Now, immediately after Jack Boy arrest, his artist Lex would take to her Instagram... Trusted you with my life and you almost took it from me Posting on me is crying for help up in my IG story Yeah, after every altercation telling me you're sorry But you broke me way too many times, I'm being honest Yeah, you brought me down to the core You let me be bruised and battered I was ready to soar, I want it Be free, yeah, I can't take it no more But yeah, my power's in no way But let me walk out the door, I swear Should've never ever let you disrespect me You had one job and that shit was that you protect me Now I'm ahead lonely, tell me how could you neglect me Coming from you, this the last thing I expected. I can't save you no more. You ain't worth saving. I'm sorry. I'm trying to save my soul, protect my mind, protect my body. A lot of us had a pretty good understanding of what she was trying to say, but she never said Jack Boy's name. So nobody wanted to jump to a conclusion and automatically say, yo, Jack Boy is abusing his artist Lex because she never said his name. Well, today, she put an ad on it, right? She put a name to it. Lex took to her Instagram to walk us through exactly how bad the abuse was at the hands of Jack Boy. It looks like Royd Rage done got that boy, bruh. Call that boy Jack Boy Benoit. That boy was wildin'. I was never in a relationship with Pierre, Jack Boy. We was never in no mother... This man would beat my... Nigga would beat my ass with metal broomsticks. Nigga beat my ass with a Dior belt that's hanging in his mother closet the nigga would whip marnie slide slam me choke me to the point where i passed the fuck out nigga almost killed out to jump off a nigga balcony because he threatened a pistol with me like y'all think this shit fucking game and y'all over here laughing y'all think this shit really so fucking funny but now it'll be real funny if y'all mamas was in this situation simple it'll be real funny if y'all daughter was getting their ass beat right every time he beat me up it's because he went through my phone and got mad about a nigga from years ago lame and if y'all like continue to support this nigga y'all lame as fuck too but it's like to each his own a nigga don't even got a career for y'all to support but y'all too do what y'all fucking need to do. Like a nigga, first of all, a nigga would mock, like, he would mock me to, when well, he would beat me up, he would mock me to try to run away so he could drag my ass and put me in his fucking closet. So let's really talk about that. Here's what I think is Roid Rage, because she's not done. She continues. But the reason she gave for why he would be upset at her were the pettiest reasons, bruh. Like, homie was getting mad at her, allegedly, because she would turn her back to him after spooning when she wanted to go to bed like homie wanted to get cuddled all night and the fact that she didn't cuddle him all night he would get up and beat her ass alle allegedly bro i ain't trying to get sued check it out nigga would beat the shit out of me spit on me made me get in the shower sit there butt ass with the fan on a six degree house yes and humane don't make me suck dick or fuck him after he beat my ass. i'm bloody and bruised eyes damn near shut last time before i even go to the hospital made me suck his dick to myself Come here and suck my dick. After you beat the shit out, you almost killed me with a fucking broomstick. Let's really talk about it. Beat the shit out, Reekin. You're gonna beat the shit out, Desiree. I had the messages of Desiree just DMing me the other day when my story came out, telling me, oh yeah, that's the reason why they broke up. Because he used to beat the shit out of all his females. I was never in a relationship with Pierre, Jack Borders. This man will beat my ass because he will go through my phone and get mad about shit from years and years ago. Mind you, I'm not this man who get mad because I would have to I would get mad because I turn my back when we sleep. Like, I'm not. What you want me to spoon you all night? Like, yeah, this is really surviving, Jack Boy, because let's talk about it. Let me show y'all something. A nigga done bit me multiple times. Fuck is you talking about? I got a nigga. One of the things I grabbed when she was talking was how backwards this generation is. Like, she says, yo, we live together. We had sex. We were intimate. We do business together. We sleep in the same bed together. We wash our booties in the same tub together, but we're not in a relationship, huh? <laughs> they're, they're like, what are you guys in, though? Like, if you're not in a relationship, then what are you guys in? That right there is couple activities. 
Now, she also promised or offered to take a lie detector test because the trolls were in the comments saying that she was lying. And do a lie detector test, y'all, because for real, for real, y'all, y'all really think this shit so? Like, I'm lying about this. Like, I gotta get clout from a. I ain't even got no motion. I don't have no motion. You can't go to a rolling loud. He he went to a South by Southwest to record some. Motherfucker won't even live for him. Fuck is you talking about? You gotta go to weak ass St. Lucie to get a little crowd. Uh, cause you're lame. Securities. That's 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 a make, that's a man's biggest downfall. And it ain't even that disease down one, those down one. Real Haitian men don't put their hands on. Yeah, if, if all that shit wasn't real, why is there a restraining order in play? Make it make sense. They don't just grant restraining orders for no reason. You gotta have at least four incidences. Like, come on now. <laughs> and they grant the same day that they got it. But they now listen, it's always innocent until proven guilty. But call me a softy, bro, but I believe her story. Like, her story sounds believable. Her story doesn't sound like she's lying. It sounds like she's gone through some ish at the hands of Jack Boy. Now, Jack Boy, though, responded back, right? So, to be fair, we have to let you guys hear what Jack Boy had to say in response to these accusations as well, right? Here's what Jack Boy had to say. They're trying to play the Christine role or some shit. They're trying to blue face it, like, try to be the victim out here. Like, hey, you ain't no motherfucking victim. Motherfucker be faking it. Like, I'm a man. Listen, man, I don't know what sympathy, what. Man, you know, you know what I be. So now. I be fucking this in the front of you. I be fucking this in the front. So I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna say, oh, nah, stay here and suck my. I try to not speak on too much. Listen, it's probably not a good sign if you're 30 seconds into your response videos to some real serious accusations and you still haven't denounced the accusations yet and said, these accusations are not true. I did not hit this girl. You talked about everything else, Blueface and Krishan, how you got your balls licked, how you smashing chicks in front of her, how she ain't no victim, <laughs> but you haven't denied the rumors yet. Because you know, you know how the law work. It's nothing. It's whatever. Like, a bitch say something against you, you gotta prove your innocence. So it's like, I ain't gonna say nothing. But now, is twirling. It's like, bro. has <laughs> been beefing with me since. I went to Costa Rica, man. Like, stayed around me this whole time. All that's going on. So I make you. <laughs> hey, this shit is crazy, dog. <laughs> Be funny, fam. I swear to God. You don't buy a Birkin or something? And you buy another girl a Birkin? Oh, just know y'all beefing. I got messages, is telling me they finna kill they so they don't got no Birkin. Like, come on, like, what type of weird that is? Like, so before you go to the, think about it. Like, bro, chuckle way too many times to be responding to an accusation this serious. Now listen, right? He says he 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 has to run around a question because he can't speak on it directly. Yes, but I don't think you need your lawyer's advice to say. I ain't never put my hands on this girl. I ain't never touched her. I don't hit women. I don't beat women. That's not in my nature. And I'm waiting for my day in court to prove my innocence. That's it. That's all. But to filibuster and throw in these other red herrings such as, yo, she's mad. I ain't buy her a burger. Yo, she's mad. I'm smashing other women. Like, what does this have to do with you putting hands on this? Right? Like, all of that can be true. And you can still put hands on her. Right? Like... Like, her being upset that you didn't buy her a Birkin bag doesn't disqualify you from putting hands on her, right? But I guess we shall wait for their day in court. If you're still watching the video, man, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how this man just leaked information that could get DJ Envy fired from the Breakfast Club. You don't want to miss this video. Click anywhere on my screen to watch it, all right? I'm going to see you guys in this video. Ah, out of here, folks. Peace.